Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another JVS movie review brought to you from the Toronto Film Festival. This film here is a film I knew nothing about before coming to this festival. All I knew was that it starred Jamie Foxx and Tommy Lee Jones, and that was enough to make me want to check it out. This one is called The Burial, and it is directed by Maggie Betts. And here is a quick synopsis. In 1995, Willie E. Gary and unconventional personal injury lawyer with an impressive track record helps bankrupt funeral home director Jeremiah O'Keefe sue a large funeral home company, the Lowenstein Group, over a contractual dispute. And here is the quick cast here. Again, it's Jamie Foxx playing Mr. Willie E. Gary, Tommy Lee Jones playing Jerry O'Keefe, uh, Journey Smoulette playing, playing Mame that is a name there, buddy. But these, this is all a true story. <laughs> so this is this is weird. And then we have uh, Mamadou Ati, who plays Hal in this film here. Uh, first off, I'm going to say that this is a true story. No matter how outrageous this film sounds as we're talking about it, this is a true story here. Uh, Mr. Willie Gray is someone who, if you read up on him and the amount of money he was able to win on a multitude of cases before he took this one. It's a very impressive record here. So with this being a true story, it's amazing that Amazon, who is the distributor of this film, decided to take it back to the 90s type of feel with these courtroom dramas or even these films that lean towards more black entertainment. When I was watching this film, I thought more of Kingdom Come than anything else, which is an older film star will be Goldberg. That's the feel I got of this movie. As it moves along, as we get Tommy Lee Jones' character, we get introduced to his family, we get introduced that he runs nine funeral homes in Mississippi. And we get that he is struggling with money and he meets with the Lonestine group as a way for them to buy out a couple of his businesses. That way he gets some cash flow so he can starve off all the people who's looking to shut his business down. That's when the story picks up even more as we get the whole case of the Lowenstein group attempting to freeze him out and attempting to wait until he was bankrupt before actually signing and agreeing to a contract that at the beginning of the film, we clearly see that they had a deal in place and they wanted to delay him, knowing that if they delayed him, he would go bankrupt and then they could just buy his business outright. And then that's when we're introduced to Willie, who... If you've ever seen any personal injury lawyer uh, commercial on television, <laughs> Jamie Foxx plays Willie to the T of all of those commercials. He is what most people consider a snake oil salesman. He is, his gift of gab in this film is amazing. And the way Jamie plays Willie is amazing because throughout everything Willie does, all the theatrics that he gives, you kind of still understand that this is a man who's tempting his attempting to do his best to prove that he's worthy of all the accolades that he received because he came from a place where he shouldn't be as successful as he is. At one point in his film, uh, Willie and Mr. O'Keefe are on a plane and he gives a story of how he became a lawyer, and why he became a lawyer. And it's one of the best scenes in this film. But what really makes this film go is Jamie Foxx. Like his his performance is great. No matter what the flaws are with this film, and this film moves like any other lawyer film in the 90s, uh, My Cousin Vinny or anything of that nature, it moves literally the same exact way, where you kind of know, even without knowing the history behind this case, you kind of know the outcome already because you see where the plot is leading up to. So none of that is a surprise to you. But what keeps you intrigued through the entire film is Jamie Foxx in this performance as well. He is amazing. It, it kind of makes you remember <laughs> that Jamie Foxx is one of the best actors in Hollywood. While Tommy Lee Jones is really good in this film, it's not much for his character to do here because this is the Willie show from beginning to end. Every courtroom scene between Jamie and uh, Journey Smollett is great because she's also really, really good in this film and just playing the counter opposite of Willie. She's an educated Black woman who is very straightforward, very rugged. Her name 
nickname is the Python because she strikes out of nowhere when you least expect it. And we see that through this film. We see the difference between the two, but we also see the respect between the two. And that's what makes this film really good. That's what makes it help stick out. And it'll help you get over the point that the plot is simple. Even without knowing this case, you already know what's going to happen. The story isn't the best story in the world. But what we're coasting off here is that Jamie Foxx gives an amazing performance throughout this whole thing. And even by the time we get to the third act, where you kind of already know everything that's about to happen here, nothing is a surprise here. They even throw in some theatrics from any African-American film in the mid to late 90s. I believe we even have a dance scene in this film. We even have the R&B song that the white gentleman loves and starts to quote later on in the film. All of these things that are just staples of the mid to late 90s black films you have in this movie. But again, you have Jamie Foxx in this movie and him, his performance alone makes this something that a lot of people I think will enjoy when they watch it. So the bury you brought you from the Toronto Film Festival via Amazon. Do I know the release date? I had the slightest idea what the release date is of this movie. But out of a possible 10, I'm going to give The Burial a 7 out of 10. This is a solid film. It is a feel-good movie. So if, if, if ever you're looking for a movie to turn on that is just going to give you all the warm and fuzzy feelings, this is what this film is for. Granted, it is a legal case behind this film. And if you want to read up more on that case, it is a, it's an amazing read. If you want to read up more on Willie... It's an amazing read. Like, these are things that you can look at after seeing the film. But the film is just that feel-good mid-90s film that we always used to get. The ones that people would flock to theaters to see. But they became so by the numbers that eventually this type of film died off. But this is a good resurgence of this type of film because, again, you have to have an actor on screen that compels the audience to pay attention to him. And that's what you get out of Jamie Foxx. So check it out when it drops. Let us know what you think. This has been another JVS Movie Review brought to you from the Toronto Film Festival. Peace, people.